as technology continues to advance, engineers are pushing the boundaries of what is feasible in construction. Mega projects are entirely different from typical construction projects. The ambition of a mega project is to change society, while a normal construction project simply fulfills a need. Several countries stand out for their mega projects, constructing buildings, bridges, and even entire cities that fascinate the rest of the world. When it comes to the League of Superlatives, China always manages to stay on top of its game. This time, it's a sea bridge. It's the world's longest sea bridge connecting Hong Kong and Macau to the mainland Chinese city of Zhuhai. To continue the video, all you have to do is click the bell and subscribe for more content like this. Have you done that? Great. Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, HZMB, is the gigantic symbol of the Greater Bay Area. The 34 mile or approximately 54 kilometer bridge on the Pearl River Delta will link Zhuhai, Hong Kong, Macau, and 11 other cities on the route. The travel time between the cities will be drastically reduced from 3 hours to 30 minutes. While China already has the world's longest bridge in its kitty, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, as the world's longest sea bridge, will be another engineering feat. Completed after upwards of a decade of planning and construction, the cost of the bridge totals about 20 billion US dollars. There are already well-established methods of transportation between these cities, including railways, ferries, roads, and plane routes. However, the HZMB has been widely publicized for its ability to reduce travel time. Its visibility across the delta serves as a hallmark of China's engineering prowess. The HMZB also serves as a cultural symbol of connection by tying mainland China to Hong Kong and Macau, two special administrative regions previously held by foreign countries. The HZMB can be viewed as three sections. To the west there is the main bridge, which began construction in 2009. To the east is the Hong Kong Bridge, which began construction in 2011. There are also roads, a boundary facility, and another bridge connected to the Hong Kong Bridge. Between the two ends of the bridges is an underwater tunnel, which has 33 elements that were built on land and fitted underwater. Each side of the tunnel connects to its above-ground bridge via an artificial island. The artificial island was built to assist with border control and bridge maintenance. This world's longest sea bridge has been constructed to withstand typhoons and earthquakes of magnitude 8.0. About 400,000 tons of steel have been incorporated into the bridge, which is four and a half times more than San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge. The entire bridge was completed and opened in 2018 after about eight years of construction, and it can last 120 years. It's a long time, don't you think? Although it took a lot of time and money to build this bridge, it still became empty in what some call a ghost bridge. Why is that so? Well, certain problems appeared during construction. One of the biggest problems is that the builders, despite a large amount of money, decided to save on building materials by using low quality cement. This unfortunately led to the disintegration and removal of artificial islands immediately after the completion of the project. In addition, low safety standards were implemented which resulted in many workers' injuries and several deaths. There was also a lot of negative environmental impact, although numerous measures were taken to reduce the destruction of aquatic habitats. During construction, thousands of piles had to be driven into the seafloor from one end of the delta to the other. This was carried out using the world's largest vibration hammer. Four miles of tunnel were placed and buried on the seafloor. The mega project loosened marine sediment from dredging, impacted water quality, and removed some natural shorelines. As with any construction project, the local air quality worsened, noise pollution increased, and local wildlife was impacted. One instance of the bridge's negative impacts on wildlife, despite environmental measures, can be seen in the Indo-Pacific humpback dolphin population. Often called the Chinese white dolphin, this species is distributed in the coastal waters of southern China. One of the densest populations of Chinese white dolphins is found in the Pearl River Delta. Currently, the Chinese white dolphin is classified as vulnerable, and the construction of the bridge affected these animals even more. Yes, the bridge was built to travel, but currently only 150 cars can cross the bridge per day. It's no wonder this bridge has become a ghost bridge, right? To cross the bridge, you must have a permit to do so. That permit is obtained in two weeks, which means that you have to plan your trip. Required documents for this permit are Hong Kong Closed Read Permit, Macau License Plates, and Macau or China car insurance. However, even if you get a permit, it doesn't mean that you'll surely cross the bridge that day. 
If there are more than 150 cars that day, the selection of who can cross the bridge is done with the help of a lottery. However, the lucky ones who are allowed on the bridge will not be able to drive to Macau, but will have to park in the parking lot at the entrance to the city and travel the rest of the road on foot or by public transport. The bridge will never recover its costs. Hardly anyone can drive on it. It seems to have been made only for politics. And so China got the longest bridge in the world, but unfortunately got a ghost bridge. What do you think about this video? Would you ask permission to drive on this bridge and enjoy the magnificent view of the sea? Tell us your thoughts in the comment, because we'd like to know them. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thanks for watching until the end. We'll see you again soon. Have a nice day.